Hey everyone, hey everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to 5 Minute Eats. All right guys, we got a little appetizer type of item for you today. This is the Brazi Bites Empanadas Black Bean and Cheddar Variety. There are about 10 pieces, ready to bake, freezer to oven. So I actually did these in the air fryer just because it would be easier. So they seem to make up pretty good. Now the thing is, I got these a little while back at the local grocery store, which is the only place that I've seen them. They were also on a very deep discounted sale for $2.50. I think the original price was around five bucks. So we'll see how this goes. We previously reviewed the regular Brazi Bites, like the bread, and the Gusto Brazil, which is their competitor. And that was a whole thing in and of itself. Because it's very similar. It's pretty much Brazilian bread, right? Mm -hmm. Cheese bread. Cheese bread, yeah. And it's really good when you get it at the restaurant. Now, Brazi Bites is something that Costco carries, and Gusto Brazil is something that Sam's Club has. And we would say that the Gusto Brazil is better. Yeah, exactly. And it was a little bit better size also. The Brazi Bites were smaller, but now they have empanadas, or maybe they don't anymore. Maybe they're discontinued, but we're reviewing them today, so we'll see how they are. It looks like pigs in a blanket. It does kind of, or like a, a Totino's pizza roll on steroids. It's interesting looking. Let me just crack one open and see what the inside looks like. Now guys, if you're new to our channel, basically we review everyday grocery items. So before you spend your hard earned money, let us tell you if it's worth it. That's right. So it does look like it's a cheese bread kind of crust thingy and then a black bean paste. Now I'm not seeing a whole lot of cheddar, but let's try it. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right guys, welcome back. Our rating system, thumbs up we bite again, thumbs down we would not. So for me, this is a thumbs down. This is a really funky creation. I don't know why they made this because this is pretty much a cheese it with some refried black bean in it. And the crazy thing is, I thought I was gonna like the black bean. I don't. I actually like the bread. And I'm not a big fan of Cheez-Its, but in this version, because it's warm, mm -hmm. it's pretty good. But would I buy it again? Definitely not, because the two together, I don't think it works. So you feel like the flavor of the bread is a Cheez-It yeah. kind of flavor? Yeah. Hmm. A warm Cheez-It. Which, like I said, I don't like Cheez-Its, but in this version, I like. Hmm. Okay, so for me, this one is going to be a thumbs down, but I kind of like it. And it's really only a thumbs down because it's quite dry. So it advertises on the package like lots and lots of cheese in there. There's no cheese, literally no cheese. Like if it was in there at one point, it completely evaporated because there ain't no cheese anywhere to be found in it. It is just a very thick bean paste kind of thing. It's not entirely great, but I kind of like it. Like, like the outside tastes good, the bread tastes good, and it actually does kind of taste like a cheese it now that you mention that. Um, it definitely has a cheesy flavor. I like it. I think that I would have liked it and given it a thumbs up had there actually been the cheese that they advertised because then the inside would have been a little bit more creamy and like, you know, a little bit oily from the cheese and stuff because as it is right now, it is just so dry. I think the problem is the cheddar. I wish they used some other type of cheese. Yeah, because I believe that that was the main difference also between Gusto Brazil and Brazi Bites is that they used cheddar in their dough and the Brazi Bites did not because I don't think that like yes. real Brazilian cheese bread, at least what you get at like Fogo de Chao or Texas de Brazil and stuff, they don't use cheddar in their bread, so. To sum it up guys, thumbs down, thumbs down. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.